Hello there, I am Giant Crow with more Pokemon Diamond Redo and the last part we took on. Oh, what did we do? Our pro off. Um, I think we, uh, oh yeah, we, um, we beat Team Galactic Commander Mars again in the battle at Lake Verity. But now we're gonna try to head to Lake Aquity, which is where Sam is right now. Which is the, which is his lake he was assigned to. So, um, I think I have some, I have, um, Karen in the PC right now because I need to back for some HM moves. But let's start with the battle, I guess. Let's just start right off. I think this is about 217. So, yeah, let's take on the snowboarder guy or an ice trainer. Haha, <laughs> I'm an ace. I can see that you're an ace too. That ambi palm at first was really annoying until I switched out to Inferno. Okay, I think there's actually a house that'll actually heal up all your Pokemon for, um, just so you can take a rest there and it won't cost any money, of course. So that's really nice. If I can get past this trainer, that'd be great. Come on. Turn your head. Turn your head. I want to skip you for now. I'll come back to you later. Thank you. Haha. <laughs> Sucker. Oh gosh, dang it. There's a... Okay, if I put my cards right right now, I won't get... Wow, that was right in his path too. I thought he had like a lot more to turn. I thought he would go more to the right before he went up again. But whatever. Are you a novice? Uh, novice? Um, are you capable? Um, I think I'm capable. <laughs> At the end of that last battle, um, drag a good level 23. I'm gonna heal up, um, at this cabin, which says a snowbound. Okay, it's a lodge. Am I bad? Snowbound lodge. A warm bed, a warm bed, and little, little, and a little else. A warm bed and little else. Cool. So yeah, as I said, if you can just talk to the nice hiker man, or I think it's this person actually. Um, maybe be the hiker actually. Yeah, it was hiker. I was that the first time? Yeah. Wait, I thought you could heal up at the- do I have to go in the bed and use it? There we go, I have to talk to the bed apparently. I'll take a good rest. Why not? I wanna check my Pokemon's levels, cause I'm not really sure. Yeah, um, Bronze is the lowest level except for Drago and Beck of course. Um, yeah I'll just keep Bronze up front. Even though it's a pain that I always have to switch out to Inferno, you know, when things get sticky. Here's another place where you can use Rock Climb, but we don't have that move yet. Now I'll take you on now that my Pokemon are fully rested. Let's take on this Ace Trainer. To be ready to answer any call, to be ready to accept any challenge. This is the way of a trainer.
jokes on that soda wudo. He uh he thought he could be smart and survive on one HP, which he did by using Endure after uh, Rose hit it with a gig with a Giga Drain. But the hail took care of that, and he got buffed by hail, or buffed by hail, and he fainted. So jokes on him for trying to be smart, because you never know what will happen, especially in these weather conditions sometimes. But yeah, we got an easy little experience from that sort of word, honestly. So, uh, I'll keep, I mean, if this battle doesn't go well, or if I have to switch out to Inferno, then I'm probably going to switch my Inferno to the front after this battle. But let's see if Bronzon can, uh, defeat the first Pokemon without, without having to switch out. That'd be cool. I'm fully, um, knitted up and, and equipped, um, anytime we'll be fine. Cool. Hey, Gibble is evolving. Awesome, I didn't, I forgot it for the level 24. I thought it was like level 40. No, that's 40 when it's a Garchomp, kinda. But yeah, I thought it wouldn't evolve until like the 30s or something. Man, I learn something new every day. But look, Gibble or Drago is now a Gabite. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. Nice. So yeah. Oh, at level 24, jeez, okay. So, yeah, I'm gonna switch Inferno to the front, though, because I don't like always having to switch out to Inferno if, if I don't really have to. If I already have him up front, then he's already set and ready to go and take down these Pokemon. Because the majority on this route is, like, Ice-type Pokemon and Normal-type Pokemon, which both can be, um, actually knocked out with a fight and with close combat, you know? But I can always switch up and use, like, Flamethrower on a, on a um, Ice-type Pokemon. I should put a Repel on, though, first. I'm going into some tall grass here. I want to put a bow on. Ah, uh, we got this. Okay, I think there should be a hidden item somewhere. Okay, I thought there would be a hidden item here somewhere. But I guess not. Um, I think I'll go to the lower part of the route again, too. Because I can't access that top part without rock climb, so. I'll just breeze past you, I guess. Go past you. I already battled you. I already battled the skier guy who's just going around in squares, not circles. Hehe. <laughs> Let's go rest up in that bed for, uh, for, uh, for a second time, just so we can get fully restored. Or me, my Pokemon and I can get fully restored. Yeah, I like that po uh, po Pokemon Center um, jingle or tone or um, um, sound uh, ding or whatever. However you want to call it, a ding, a uh, alert, a noise, a whatever you want to call it, that's fine. I think this guy has a Weavile. So it's, I think it's, I think they're ice and dark type. So four times, if you use a fire type move on it, then it's four times super effective. But I could totally be wrong. This guy could totally not have a Weavile, but we'll see. Which is a buff for my Sneasel, which you would see nowhere on this route. I I always battle for keeps. This is no drill. Okay. Okay, so that last trainer did not have a, um, Weavile, but he did have a Sneasel. I'm gonna heal up real quick again. Okay, we can just continue on now. Now, this is where the route get Dang it, my poor for a decent time. Cool. This is where- the, Route 217 is where it gets a lot more, you know, snowier. As you can see right now, there's a lot more snow, and totally, like, there's a lot, a lot of snow blowing, and... It's no fun, because you can't even- I don't think you can run in this condition of snow, because it's snowing so hard, but... I'm gonna have to deal with it. This is cold. This is cold, but nothing compared to the fire that burns in my heart.
That was a long battle, and I didn't really like it because it was dragging on and on and on. Good thing you guys got to see it all sped up with music. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to try to... I, I, I keep on forgetting, but I'm going to try to finally teach Earthquake to um Drago. N now that it's a like Gabite, I think you can definitely win Earthquake by TM. And I win by level up, but I want to just give my a quick DM to um Drago. I know a bronze can learn it and Inferno can learn it, that's cool too, but I wanna give it to Drago because he's dragon dark ground type so he gets the same type of attack bonus. He needs a really powerful move too because this is a really good this is like one of the best uh ground type TMs or ground type moves in this game, you know? So um Sand Tomb is fifteen power wait it's fifteen power and it, its accuracy is seventy and takedown is 90 power accuracy 85 with with um with a recoil added to it after if it hits so i'm definitely probably going to get rid of um sand tomb even sandstorm seems better than that right now so let's give it a sand tomb yeah we don't need that anymore i guess so there we go drago land with quick by tm awesome I probably won't teach it dig because it's not in the final moveset from a uh, practice file, but it's there. I get, I know it can probably learn dig too, so that's cool, I guess. Um, let's see, checking out the levels. Yeah, okay, I'll just keep in front of the front, I guess. I think he's a ninja boy or whatever. Yeah, I think he might have like poison type Pokemon or something. Poof, you got a good eye spotting me. Well, you're a gray dot on a black screen, or on a white snowy screen right now, so it wasn't that hard. That was a long battle. I didn't really appreciate it either. Here's another skier, dude. Hopefully we can make eye contact so we can battle then. That'd be, yeah, there we go, cool. Okay, I'll show you the techniques I had drummed up into, drummed into me at ski school. Okay, why not? <laughs> Okay, that last trainer had uh, actually three of the three of the Pokemon we haven't seen yet, which is Snover. Now Snover is Grass and Ice type. I used one uh, that evolved into Abominable eventually in my Pokemon Platinum walkthrough guide, and it's a really good Pokemon. The only downside really is to it is that it's um, four times weak to Fire type moves because it's Ice and Grass type, so it's four times weak to Fire type moves. So, but if you can get past that and use it strategically, it makes for a good Pokemon. I'd recommend it, especially in Platinum, you know. If you don't like have a grass type yet, if you didn't choose straight to a good platinum or whatever. So, yeah. Um, I think Drago may have gone to level 26 in the last battle, I'm not sure. But, um, that's what I remember. And we're in deep, deep snow, so all we can do is walk. I'm holding the B button right now and we can't even run into the snow. It's, uh, that's how deep the snow is. And it kind of fits for what's happening lately, because, like, it's still winter time. Um, I'm recording this on January the 7th of 2017 and it, probably, it won't go up till like the 10th or 11th of January um, around there
But yeah, like there's been a lot of snow and stuff, especially in St. Louis. Not as much snow as like the other places in the United States, but that's okay. Compared to like the north, the northwest or the northeast is getting pounded with like five feet of snow some places, which is crazy. Yeah, here's TMO7 Hill. So yeah, that's cool, I guess. And right here is um, TMO7 Rock Climb. So let's pick that up. TMO7, no, TM, not TMO7. HMO8, I meant, sorry. But if we go to this, um, this, you know, sh house, that, who, someone who's stupid enough to build their house here. Yeah, um, when I was fighting my way through the blizzard, I dropped my HM and HM. If you still, if I still had it, that HM hit a move, rock climb, I would be able to scale cl uh, sheer cliffs. Hey, what's this? You found the hidden machine, but I'd already given it up for a loss. You must, you, and you found it. It's yours to keep, my friend. Make good use of it. I like your honesty, though. Let me reward you with this. We get the icicle plate, which uses the power of ice type moves. Uh, there's a text engraved in the back of the obtain of the obtained plate. Two make matter. Three make spirit shaping the world. Stephen put the icicle plate in the item spot. Okay, okay, that icicle plate I found was under the snow as well. I'm no expert, but it had to be an ancient origin. Even as old as time when Sino came into being. Yeah, interesting. We can't use uh, Rock Climb outside of battle till we get the 7th gym badge, which kind of stinks. So we're gonna see what we're gonna have to find it in here and teach it to um, Beck. There we go. Yeah, one storm Rock Climb. And I think this is the final HM you can win because it already knows Cut Strength and Rock Smash. Let's go with a Water Gun. Yeah. One, two, and poof. Beck forgot to use water gun and one rock climb. Awesome. Nice. And if you use the dowsing machine all over this place right here, you'll find hidden items most likely. I, however, won't do that because I want to get out of the snow as soon as possible. So I won't go through, do, um, I won't like try to get every single item or every, try to find every single, other, every single hidden item, you know, because that's just not worth it to me, honestly. So here's an iron. Let's give it to someone who needs defense. And if I could get in my medicine pocket, that'd be great. Okay. Yeah, but this is a defensive Pokemon. Let's give it to... Let's give it to Rose, I guess. Rose needs some defense. Yeah, nice. So, yeah. I think it'll be the last trainer of the video because I'm going to end the part here soon, I guess. There are several kinds of ninjas. Are you uh, Iga or Kuga Ninja or Kuga Ninja? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so if we go up here, I think that's the right way to go. If we go up here, we can advance and stuff, it'd be nice. Yeah, I'm gonna end it up right here though. So this has been the end of my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walk the Guide part. Next part, we'll take on more of Route 217. Hopefully, eventually get to Snowpoint City if we can. So yeah, this has been John Go again. I would like to thank you again. Goodbye, and I'll see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walk the Guide.